Welcome to Grey Overload, I'm Anthony, and we have a unique little bug here, or not really unique, but another security flaw. This is happening to be in AMD's Zen 2 processors, so they do span a few generations overall on the desktop side, but these Zen 2 chips, they are having what they call a Zen bleed. Um, thanks for the good name, <laughs> at least it wasn't like a, a horrible name, but the Zen you know, the Zen bleed, which allows uh, here, uh, there's a summary there from um, Tom's Hardware, which I post in the link below, but it allows uh, basically data exfiltration, you know, stealing the data at a rate of 30 kilobytes per core per second um, through stealing basically these sensitive information uh, through flowing to the processor. So. This has been reported to AMD, and let's switch over to AMD so you can see the ops link as well in the site below. But AMD has this processor, cross-processor information leak, and with the CVE of the Zen 2 CPUs, and they go through of what the U-code is for the mitigation details. Now the mitigation is already out for uh, Rome, the server-side CPUs, that's a good thing. That's going to be going through the whole, you know, OEM side of things here. The Aegis for firmware for that, which is Rome PI 1.0.0.H. And then the desktop side, which will be a target date in December here. And December there for Ryzen 3000 series desktops, Ryzen 4000 series desktops with a uh, Radeon graphics. And then if you go high-end desktop, this is Ryzen 3000, and then Workstation you, Pro 3000, and notice all the dates are October 2023, November, December, and Ryzen Mobile, which is 5000 series mobiles with graphics 4000, and there are 7020 processors, there are Mendocinos. Uh, processors. So this is kind of the layout of, hey, when are you expected to get these uh, fixes overall? Now, if you, I haven't gone, nobody's really asked for me in any other um, the, of these bug leaks to dive into the extreme details of this, but here is a CVE that I will also post as well that you can take a look at. And um, yeah, this is that's the basis of this to get that out of the bat. Now, no one has asked me to go in and describe these in great detail. Just know that your data is being taken in a way it shouldn't be allowed. Now, as AMD's processors have grown in the market since their bulldozer days, I did expect that there would be more security flaws found. If you listen to my other security flaw uh, videos on like Intel or AMD, I did expect that as more processors get in the market, more uh, eyes are on those processors, and then more of those bugs are found, which is a very good thing to have uh, done is to find more of these bugs, get that off, and eventually they'll be fixed in hardware. Now this won't be fixed in hardware, it'll be fixed in software. One thing that through the micro, um, are, you know, from their um, Aegis firmware, that'll be their microcode there, that'll be pushed through those updates. This is one reason I do recommend BIOS updates to be able to get those and to keep those fixes, to keep yourself hardened against these security type attacks. Um, and one other thing is, is that we don't really know what the performance hit is. AMD hasn't really said, but I'm sure that people will be able to run this once the these firmware get they, these firmwares gets out and you'll be able to then update your BIOS and have that um, microcode or firmware to harden you against these type of attacks, but also it's gonna be later this year. So just be mindful of that. And that that is the one downside, right? It does take time to fix and it does take time to get a workaround. And since you're not in the server market, you are gonna be lower down the totem board, unless you are in the server market, in which case, um, you're, you're high up on the totem pole, right? You got to take care of your data center first. And then I believe if we go back to this, if I'm looking at AMD, right? So you have, this is out already. This is December, October, which is happens behind desktop, which is right below. And then November, December for your workstation. Interesting. The workstation ones are going to be after Threadripper. And then everything else is in November and December. So that's just something 
uh, I want to jump back there to get those dates right but that is the list of processors I, I know that not everyone's using these but they are still being used out there they're still quite capable processors overall and um, I guess the 5000 mobile ones there would be those out there in the in the marketplace maybe a little bit more because those are being what released now so something to keep in mind something that's kind of impressive here of uh, with the name Zen Bleed I really like that name they did it <laughs> these researchers whoever named it did a good job that was unique but something to keep in mind something to keep your eyes on here for um, as your BIOS updates get updated keep track of that that's something you know you should check um, especially if as there are more and more security things are always found there you know you got to be hardened against them somehow and it happens to be through microcode unless it's going to be an OS patch but um, if you can get microcode that's usually a little bit better than an OS software patch but we'll see you know let me know what your thoughts are on the security flaws Do you expect even more of these I do I expect more and more as these chips get more advanced you're gonna have more issues because you can't test every path that you used to and you got to kind of make and as you you know get more test as you find more of these flaws and test it you can yes you can enter those into a test system make sure that they don't happen again make sure that you're covering them in future designs but um, you're also making those future designs more complex because you want to get better speed you know more performant better architecture and all that stuff so um, better designs etc which you know makes it hard, harder and you're you know going back and forth trying to get that done so with that I do appreciate all of you subscribing and supporting Gray Overload and helping us kind of grow I'm interested in what you think about Zen Bleed I'm interested to think you know how this might perfect or affect performance in the comments below and don't forget to share like subscribe hit the bell icon and everything to help this channel out I really do appreciate it until next time God bless